It's really important that we have um, uh, penetration of molecular testing, which means all patients that are suitable for molecular testing get molecular testing at scale. It's also important that that molecular testing is accurate, that we have accurate results, we don't have false negatives, we have a very low failure rate, and it's also important that those results are turned back around in a meaningful time frame to the oncologists that are making that decision. This is a highly complex pathway to implement at scale. We have a number of changes in the UK, particularly in England, with the formation of the genomic laboratory hubs. These are seven major centres who are tasked with performing both germline and somatic testing for all uh, cancer patients, according to the NHS test directory. Moving forward, as of the 1st of April, when these GLHs become live within the National Genomic Medicine Service, I think it's really important that all the potential centres that link into that GLH have good communication with the lead from that GLH to ensure that they're appraised of the technologies that are being used, uh, what the processes are for uh, tissue shipping, and what the processes are for receipt of report. The most important thing I think can that can really help this is reflex testing. Really to me, molecular analysis is a molecular diagnosis and molecular diagnosis forms part of the pathological evaluation of the tissue material that pathologists have. And it really is critical that once we have a diagnosis of lung cancer that that material is reflexly sent to the regional uh, genotyping laboratory so that the molecular testing process can start in anticipation of the multidisciplinary meeting, in anticipation of the patient seeing the oncologist. So when that oncologist does see the patient, that molecular data is at hand and so we can make the appropriate treatment decisions at the right time point.